decrease the CDF from 1.6 million to 28.3 million kwacha per year per constituency. Do your numbers. May, let me remind those who don't like graphs and numbers. You can't run a country without numbers. You cannot run a country without numbers. Then you are a joker. You are just a joker. Because you cannot run a country without knowing that if you borrow too much and you consume that money, you get into a debt trap. You have to calculate. You must put most of that money into revenue generating. When you revenue generate, you can then support CDF to a tune of 28.3 million kwacha. That's how it works. You need to know the numbers. Please, you need to know the numbers. You need to work out what the weather is likely to be before November so you can plan properly. And as a drought comes, you do need numbers, please. Otherwise, people perish. I was on the farm when someone was preaching, talking about graphs and numbers. All we were showing is that this is how we have moved from independence to where we are now. And there's something wrong there which we need to change. That graph shows us that we have not been making the right economic and social decisions. Now we must make the right decisions. We made the right decisions by introducing CDF at this level, 28.3 million kwacha. And you will see that this number, these graphs, will show by 2026, you will see that there will be desks in classrooms. No child will be sitting on the floor. You will see that maternity wings are there and there's water. You will see that the children who were not in school will be in school. You will see that there are enough classroom spaces. That is what numbers do if you know how to use them. But if you fear numbers, we have introduced free education. We can send you back to school and learn some more. At the close, my dear young people, I wish to state and defend the old priest in the Archdiocese of Lusaka, in particular, and in the world in general. A priest is not a joker, for heaven's sake. A priest is not a joker for heaven's sake. A priest is a shepherd of God's people. And he lives among his sheep. He knows his sheep as well as their need. And when he speaks, he speaks from an informed perspective. If you ignore his message, you ignore it at your own peril. Apropos, a joker is a comedian. A joker is a comedian who performs for amusement and at a fee. And once he is done, and he goes off in his way. I ask the people of God to check who is a new joker, a priest. Amen. I wonder.